922, welcome back. News of a large iceberg breaking off Antarctica made headlines last week. This echoes one of the most common images of climate change. Large glaciers falling into the sea because of a warming climate. However, meteorologist Sarah Spivey is here to explain more about this event and why it's a bit more complicated than that. Sarah, what can you tell us? Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, it is a bit more complicated than that, especially because scientists have been preparing for this for a while. So this happened on a part of Antarctica known as the Brunt Ice Shelf. And here, British scientists are stationed. They conduct various experiments. And Friday, February 26, a huge iceberg larger than the size of New York City broke off of the main ice shelf, which happens to be almost 500 feet thick. Again, however, this did not come as a surprise to the scientists. Here you can see that crack in that 500 foot ice shelf. Uh, those scientists have been preparing for almost a decade for this eventual large breakage. And the technical term for that is called calving. According to the British Antarctic Survey, scientists were able to safely move their base inland all the way back in 2016, ensuring the safety of their researchers. And again, although this may seem alarming, calving is a very natural process within ice shelves, so it's not clear if climate change has had a major impact on this particular event. Scientists will continue to monitor the newest, very large, very large iceberg to see where it goes and what it does. But again, scientists have been preparing for this for quite some time. I think it's the size wow. and scale that kind of is mind blowing for all of us. That Well, 500 feet. Well, that's how deep. thick that I mean, ice I mean, is. Thick, yeah. And then it's the iceberg itself is larger than the size of New York City. And this happens all the time out in Antarctica and with ice shelves. And so it, it remains to be seen what effect climate change will have on calving or that breaking of that ice as a whole. Hey, we were doing a little bit of research earlier because two weeks ago we were at nine degrees in uh, San Antonio. And I asked you if we were as cold as that part of Antarctica. <laughs> February's average high in Antarctica is about 12.6 degrees, so we were colder than Antarctica. Oh, man. Wow. I know. <laughs> that really puts it in perspective. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Thank you so much, Of Sarah. course. <laughs> well,